I'm doing well. I'm Amanda. And I'm Peggy. You are watching the Junction Fiber Mill Millcast, episode number 51. 51, clickety clack. I know, we're recording this on Monday. Yep. November. Yeah. Six. November 6th. <laughs> it came to yeah. me eventually. Yeah. A little chilly out there, but a beautiful sunny day. Yeah, what are you wearing? I am wearing, this is the Jennifer Steingast Goldwing that I knit uh, years ago with um, Hogwash Farms Jacob. This is long before. The mill was a twinkle in my eye or our yeah. eyes. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. I love yeah. that it's like a subtle, yeah, it's uh, subtle. pink and yeah, raspberry and gray. Yeah. It's and lovely. and I, what I like is this is the pattern that has a little bit on the on the sleeves yeah. and an I cord cuff. So I like it. Yeah. Very and nice. I know what you're wearing. Yeah, this is uh the Vika oh gosh, I'm gonna have to remember the name of the um, pattern author, but uh, I will link it in the show notes. It's a Brooklyn tweed pattern. And I knit it with uh, Peggy Savage Heart Farm wool in a natural yeah. moor. And basically uh, our, our origin yeah, story, this right? Is the, the sweater that <laughs> the I. The sweater that brought us together. Yeah. That was the wool that led to a sweater, yeah, yeah. et cetera. Yeah, yeah, I bought it from Peg before we knew each other at all at yeah. the farmer's market and knit it, and uh, that's how we got to. It's, be it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And for this time of year, it's like perfect. It's perfect. So yeah. Crazy. Did you have a good weekend? I did i had it was like catch-up weekend yeah i feel like i hadn't i haven't had one of those in so many months yeah yeah neither has cody just because circumstances as uh viewers of the mill cast know a little bit about that yeah i'm looking forward to next weekend <laughs> yeah that'll be yeah. my catch-up but yeah what'd you do uh well first of all i wanted to make sure to share a photo of mave in her halloween costume from tuesday so that was well before the weekend and feels like distant yeah. history yeah. now but she was a little um it was basically a teddy bear she has this teddy bear she got from Cody right. from his childhood called A.G. Bear, which I don't even know why it's called. It has a little embroidered A.G. Bear on it. Anyways. And that would be, yeah. So it's a little teddy bear with a corduroy t-shirt. So I found a pattern for the teddy bear part of it. And then I just sort of hacked together the little corduroy t-shirt. Adorable. So cute. So we yeah. took her trick-or-treating in town. She loved that. Um, we went with our little friend Maya, and uh, for she she lasted about two houses going and like <laughs> yeah. getting a bunch of candy. And right now she just you know she plays with it. She doesn't really know what right. candy is right. yet. So I'm slowly but surely siphoning the right. candy out of right. the bucket. Yeah. Um, and then this weekend, yeah, we did the sheep hooves uh, <laughs> yesterday. And the jackets, because we moved them to the winter quarters, right. as we call them. Right. It got cold. It, it got yeah. yeah, so it frosted. All of the grass is not looking so hot. We sort of did one quick rotation through the meadow right. more. Right. And then on Sunday, yesterday, we ran them up uh, into their little fenced-in area right yeah. next to our garage, which is convenient for us in the winter. Right. They're on hay now. They're right. drinking and, a lot of water. Um, did Cody and Todd go get hay? Yeah, Cody and Todd went together last weekend. Oh, I was think. it last weekend? Yeah, yeah okay. they got hay. We're, okay. So our garage is full of hay, which Excellent. is good because we are leaving this week. Uh, more on that later, but uh, we're, we're going to have a house sitter. And yeah, um, yeah so the, everything is all set. The chickens also got moved up there. We had everyone in the meadow all, all right. summer, they all, all got right. moved. And then, yeah, we did one of the big occasional sheep chores, which is hoops yeah and p putting jackets on and right. I, I have found that our sheep are bigger than they were this time last year so oh, really they're all in the largest sizes and they're all going to need larger jackets well isn't that interesting i know so i'm thinking the grass is just that much better isn't that good to know we had a good growing year but it means like their wool is already looking great uh i did have a thought if i knew how to shear it would be a great time of year to get the neck because it's gonna oh. only get bad from here. Like it's they've got beautiful longish wool on their neck right oh, now. Oh, and so you could if you could you get could, it now. Yeah, because what happens with the that. jacket yeah. is it gets all full of hay because that's so the jacket and, and and it can get kind of felted too. Right. Because the jacket comes to the neck and it's just yeah. as they're moving around, it, it packs yeah. things in. Right and now it, it looks yeah. great. It's a magnet. That's yeah. an interesting idea. I know. If only it's run the clippers through. But yeah, so we we um, we put, we jacket the sheep as we've discussed uh, because they're Corydale. Peg and I both have have Corydale. Right. And the fleece is so fine that any hay that uh, drops in there is going to work its way in and be yeah. impossible to get out of it. Yeah. So. it and, and hay is referred to uh, as VM, vegetable, vegetable matter. Yeah. Um, so when someone says, oh, that, that fleece has a lot of VM, yeah. that's what they're talking about is the hay. And, well, it can also yeah. be thistles or burrs that get that get in there, but usually it's 
it's dried that hay gets right. gets gets stuck in there. So, so yeah, and then Cody Cody did a lot of <laughs> shoveling sheep manure and putting it in the garden beds and yeah. Maeve and I planted some garlic. So we did we did I a lot of again. like chores, a lot of chores. I need I need next weekend when I need a warm day because I haven't gotten my garlic in yet, and I've got some really great garlic. Oh yeah, we've plant. never done it. So this oh, is it's the first so year. rewarding. Well, Cody has he made four more garden beds between last weekend I and this we were weekend. We're going to go in the other direction. <laughs> We have so many beds. They're all filled with great dirt. Next year, we need to find an audience to take more of the manure because it does look great after two years of sitting. But yeah. We have run out of spots to put uh, it. Oh, we know this problem. You know, well, you can throw it on the field. The that's, question is, yeah. do you have a method of getting it right. out that's, there? Right. That's yeah. the issue. And right now, it's so manual. We don't have a tractor or anything. So right. it's literally, it's right this year, it's his chore, but it's, you know, sh Shoveling, I've done it in the yeah. past. It's taken a yeah. shovel and yeah. a wheelbarrow. And, and, and manure is heavy. It is, it's, yeah, so it's, 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 it's classic it's back-breaking work. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, he's exhausted. And I'm exhausted because I was left with Maeve all weekend. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. <laughs> we had a great time. Good. Anyways, enough. Of, we've got a lot to talk about. You yeah. had, I had a, a great weekend for the I was, mill. I was down in West Springfield at the Fiber Festival of New England. Um, at which, the Biggie Fairgrounds. At the, the Biggie Fairgrounds, which is massive. Yeah, it's It's huge. absolutely huge. Um, fairground and we were this festival took place in one I think there were I don't know 200 vendors mm -hmm. we had the most amazing location mm -hmm. bar none it's ridiculous and I know I was on my own but the good news is a, 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 a woman who had been on our retreat she is starting a new mill in Western Massachusetts she it which is not far from the Big mm -hmm. E and she she uh, emailed us and said hey can I come over and help you load in because I know you're on your own I was like are you kidding I saw the email come in and feeling super guilty <laughs> about not going I was like Peg you need to see yeah uh, uh, alchemy mill fiber mill uh, Melinda came and, and helped me get set up which was huge and then thank the, you Melinda yeah thank you <laughs> and at the end um, uh, Liz Blanchfield who works for us she was going to be down there anyway and said sure I'll make uh, you know I'll come yeah, Sunday you, afternoon Liz. And help you load out and the other nice thing was it, it was over at three so it was all manageable but let me back up the festival was fabulous yeah. saturday holy mackerel thanks for people who came out it was a pleasure meeting you and the vibe was fan just just really great meeting people that knew us um and were glad to see us and then just meeting a lot of people who you know really had never heard of junction fiber mill and you know our colors just you know jazz people up and that was a lot of fun and of course Though I said we don't need food, Wayne, are you trying to make me fat? <laughs> he comes with those pastries again. Were they the same ones? Yes, oh my and it includes, he included the card um, from the the oh. melt away. And of course, the, the, yes, I ate pastries all week, and they were very good. So thank you. None Not of them necessary. showed up at the mill. Not this necessary, morning, but Wayne, thank you. So. <laughs> um, we we did see a number of folks who came in with things that they they'd been knitting with making tracks. I have to introduce you to two people who um, just knit really great things and I'll let them speak for themselves. So tell me who you are. I'm Michelle and I'm wearing the Shoulder Season by Junction Fiber Mill Knit and Farm Fresh and January Nights. It's fabulous. Thank you. Do you want to give the tip you gave me on how you made it fit? Yes, because I'm not very petite. I use size 8 needles instead of the size 7 needles that I called for. It, it, it's great. It, it looks fabulous. And I'm going to make couple more. Uh, okay. All right, all right. <laughs> Take care. Tell me your name and what are you wearing? Um, I am Paula Martin and I am wearing the Sheep Camp by Jennifer Berg. I got to do a, yeah. Nicely done. And so you're, it's in Red Hots? Yes. And in the Mill Blend? Yes. Oh man, you just did a fabulous job. <laughs> Thanks thank for sharing. You, thank you, thank you. Love the yarn. Okay, the, the shoulder shrug was, was lovely and a great tip of going up a needle size as she says she's not a petite, so uh -huh. all she did was knit on a larger oh, needle. fantastic. Either. But the other, the sweater that was knit in Alpenglow with ochre, oh. when she walked in, I was like going, I, I know that's making tracks, but I, I could not have told you it was Couldn't Alpenglow. Couldn't it, yeah. Wow, it was knockout. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for stopping by the yeah. booth. So that was, uh, and that is the last of our, we did our, our, our trio. Oh my Vermont Sheep and Wool, Rhinebeck, and then we concluded with the Fiber Festival of New England, which I'll gotta be honest with you, was a great way to end. It was um, um, just a good vibe, really yeah. good vibe. 
Um, and we don't have another um, real festival until January 22nd. It never really ends, but it does no, it slow doesn't. down for we the do, holiday We do season. have a little bit of break. The next one will be in Wayland at the Russell Garden Center on January 22nd. But a, a break till then. And a, frankly, a chance to get caught up on inventory. Yeah. So um, that, that will be good. Yep. Um, yeah, that, that was the festival. Okay. Well, hey. thank you so much for yeah, uh, manning it. Was, it was good. It was, it was, it was awesome my pleasure. We just off. met so many great people. <laughs> Well, today marks the official start yeah, yeah, of yeah. our knit along as you're Drum watching roll, this. Okay, so what we are knitting, just a reminder, we are knitting the Read This. Read hat. This. I mean, I'm sorry, that title cracked me up. Read This. Read This. So uh, this is the Junction Fiber Mill uh, version. This is a sample that our friend Emmett knit up for us. Oh, and Emmett, Emmett came by. Thank you, Emmett. <laughs> Did and he your partner? did he bring the hat? No, he sent it. No, in he the had mail. sent it. Yeah. We're, we're gonna get another version of this from Emmett any day now in the mail. But this is what we're knitting. Uh, so the knit along begins today. It goes through mid December, so you have a lot of time. Yeah. If you still haven't bought your yarn or want to join, but I cast mine on. Did you? Yeah, cast but hold yours? on, hold on. Okay. Let's be clear. You do not need to write a junction fiber mill. No. You can put in whatever words you want. Yes. Your, your nickname, your husband's nickname, ho ho ho. I've, I've got to be honest with you, I haven't settled on it. And Amanda has created, can you hand me the pattern so I can yes. br brag about you? So Amanda designed the pattern, and what makes it so cool is there's the alphabet. Okay, no brainer that, that you'll have the alphabet. Oh, have I got oh, the- Oh, shoot, uh, no, this is a, this and is then, a test copy. And then there'll be sheets where it's blank so you could write in what you want. But more importantly, there is a link that you can type in, and it'll take you to a Google form where you can just write in whatever it is you want to write, mm -hmm. and you don't have to do counting because you're, you're casting on 104, and you're like going, well, some letters are fatter than other letters. How do I know? Amanda's taking care of that for you. You just type in, say, I'm I'm toying with doing Savage Heart Farm. Okay. So all I have to do is type in Savage Space Heart Space Farm, and it'll automatically on the line below say how many letters that took up, how many spaces that took up, and then you can start playing around with. Well, if I put a couple of extra spaces between savage and heart, will I be able to go all the way around the circumference? And you just delete it and start over. It's so easy. If I can do it, you can do well, it. Well, we it's have very a tutorial clever. on our website, sorry, on, yeah. which we will link to as well. But uh, yeah, so hopefully, I, I also am playing around with what I'm going to do. But let's see. Let's see your. So I on. cast on. I went with. I've always loved the red hots, and I red hots is has a little bit of brown in it. It's like that cinnamon hot red hots. And I've started the cast on, and I'm in a section with a lot of brown, and I'm loving it. And hopefully you can see it. So I'm going to do, I think it's about five inches of the ribbing. Yep. And then I'm going to, by then I will need to know what I'm doing. And then I'm going to do the white band for the lettering. Okay. So that's where I'm in for my cast on. All right. I uh, am just a little bit farther behind you. So I'm doing mine in the Settlement Farm Green, which I think we're officially sold out of at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to make more, but we're right now we're out. Yeah. This sort of flew and no wonder it's a gorgeous color it's, green. Yeah. So it's a solid green. And uh, I think I've settled on what I'm going to do and I'm going to say it here, but I need to caveat it because I'm going to make this as a Christmas present for Cody who I know does not watch the mill cast. So if he, that very interesting. If he doesn't, if he finds out about this, I will be shocked. But Natalie, Cody's mom, don't <laughs> no, tell him. No telling. <laughs> and Tess, if you're watching my stepmom, don't tell him. Okay, so, so what, I think I'm gonna have it say, and I've never told you this, but our working title of our farm oh, yeah. is quote unquote farm. So, because it's, I, I always am putting it in quotes. It's a quote unquote farm. So you're going to do quote? I'm going to just, it's going to say quote, Q-U-O-T-E oh. space unquote farm. Oh, and it fits hilarious. Perfectly. So okay. uh, that's what I'm going to do. And Cody's a redhead. He is, he is our model. Yeah, uh, but he's going to look great in that green. Yeah, he's going to look great on the green. So I was going to make it for him because he's been snarky about me never knitting for him anymore. So I think gonna, that it oh uh, that is great. I think it'll look great. Uh, in and a that's that's a, so it'll be a Christmas present. Yeah, it'll be a Christmas present. I love and it. I don't know. He'll probably see me working on it, but I've I've got a lot on my needles all the time. So yeah, I don't, so you really won't pay any attention. Yeah. Even if you find right. that doesn't matter. All right, I know so. nothing. I'll say nothing. Yeah. So this is Good. that, uh, and uh, we are like drop in the comments if you know what you are knitting. Yeah, I'd love to know what what you're gonna put in your words, and so uh, let the let the knitting begin. Yes, commence now. Yeah, and uh, let us know what you're up to. Yeah, and we've got kits on our website okay, uh, for a few different colorways, and you can also build your own. It just takes 
one skein of white right now. We've got this really lovely border Lester Dorset yeah, uh, natural yeah, I, cream. Yeah, I, I saw that drawing in the windows there. Very lovely. Yeah, so that's the, the white we have on hand now. And yeah. then any, uh, either a contrasting solid or, or a making, a tracks. making tracks like Peg's yeah. got. So. Now, but remind me, are people entering to win? Is yes, there a... so we're doing it a little bit differently than okay. last time. Okay. The way that it's going to work this time is you, uh, when you're all done with your hat, you submit a Google form. It's linked in the mid along page, but you'll submit okay. that with your name, your email, and your info. And okay. then we'll do a random drawing and you'll win a bag of gifts. But the only way is it's all going to be from the Google form. Yeah, and if you can't figure that out, yeah. just email us. Uh, we've got a new email we're using, knit at junctionfibermill.com for okay. this sort of thing. It's also in the knit along notes, but if you are confused by the Google form or it doesn't let you submit it for some reason, <laughs> Okay. Just email us a photo when yeah. you're done. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll and we'll and we'll add you. But, in. but the point is, it won't be. We're not taking it from Instagram. No, but I do want to encourage people to participate on Instagram because that's where we are going to be finding photos of your work in progress. Oh, we do want and work we in want progress. Yeah. To share those and engage with you and yeah. sort of make it fun so people can find you. So again, yeah. use the hashtag. J-F-M-K-A-L on social media. It, it wasn't intentional, but we do sort of have the Christmas color things I going know, here. I know. It's so it's, fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah, great. I just love this color. Oof. Okay. All right, there we go. Uh, so, so I want to take fun. a real quick, uh, we're going to just pause for one sec and we're going to flip over. I just realized something, Peg. Okay. <laughs> Pardon the interruption. We had multiple technical difficulties. Yeah, we did. So that, we are right. several hours later in the day, which means actually. There's more of the sun on us, but yeah. Uh, and there's more to show. Yes, we have the other one. It came, in the, it came in the mail in the middle of our break. Yay! That was great timing. So Emmett sent us this uh, second test knit he did. This is a knit pearl, knit pearl motif with the uh, the deep end as the yeah, main with color. using making tracks, which is really fun because there's you, it, I don't know if you can really see the colors coming through. If you un unroll, yeah, the you bill, really, you see, really it. see it. That's fun. Yeah. So we've got yeah. a solid option. Yeah. And a making uh, tracks variegated. So. If yeah. you're gonna go making tracks, just make sure it is a darker colorway so that yeah. it contrasts the yeah, exactly. the you, white band if you're using a white band because um, you want those letters to pop. You need the letters to pop yeah. out. Yeah. All right. Very so cute. that's the knit along. Uh, yeah. We have an exciting thing yeah. that's launching. Well, it launched yesterday, so right. hopefully there's still some left in stock. Right, and and we're always trying something new, so. Here we go. It starts with, it's, it's a box. You want to say what it is? It's, it's the a, holiday box. But it starts with a really fun box. Look at that. We've got our name on a box. I love the box. But <laughs> it's a holiday box. Go for yes. it. Yes. Okay. So inside the holiday box, we have basically a lot of our favorite little yeah. things. Uh, it would make a great gift for the knitter in your life or yourself. Yeah. Uh, and they're all made hyper locally to us. Yeah. So, Let's start with the bookmark made by our very own Emma Percy. They made this at the Dartmouth Letterpress Studio. Yeah, at so, Dartmouth College, yeah. Yeah, using like the old school letterpress yeah. uh, equipment. Right. It's very cool. Yeah, so a little custom bookmark for all your winter reading. Right. And then this is a satchel made by Maggie Burnett. She has a company called May. She does um, uh, placemats, napkins, and dyes all these fabrics with a really complicated, cool ice and dye. And the fabrics are gorgeous. And this is a lavender satchel. You know, put it in your drawer or put it under your pillow. Put it under your pillow. Sleeping. Yeah, Maggie uh, just put just, it on your just your face. Yeah, it's a really soft linen, lovely. Yeah, it's like a linen cotton, mm. and yeah, she. Yeah. They're all you know similar to our making tracks yarn. They're all unique because right. they're all hand dyed uh, with this really cool process. Uh, process that yeah. I, I I would love to see her do that sometime. Yeah, if you want to see her basement. Yeah, <laughs> and so your favorite coffee here. It's yes. a, a, a local coffee company called Abracadabra that mm. is just rocking it, roasting their own um, different. This one's called Dark Times. Is this the one you guys like? Uh, we do like this one. This is the darkest of their roasts. Um, they do a lot of like lighter roast coffees mm -hmm. as well. I'd say this is, this says the tasting notes are caramel, brown sugar, and milk chocolate. So it should Woo. be pretty likable if you are a coffee drinker or you have one in your life. This is a 50 gram little sampler pouch of ground coffee. Again, you could curl up with your book or your knitting and a yeah. cup of coffee. But yeah, Abracadabra, I mean, and the colors too. You yeah, really, yeah, very fun. They have amazing branding. They're friends of the mill. We love them. And uh, at least Cody and I are drinking their coffee yeah. every day. It's great. And do you want to describe what's next? 
Uh, sure. Uh, this is my favorite hand cream from Flourish, which as I'm looking out our front door, you can, if right. I had x-ray vision through you, one building, I think yep. I'd be able to Th see that. They're there. <laughs> and they make that, they make this here, right? Yes, they make it like right in White River Junction, uh, which I don't think many folks, as many folks know that, that should know. It's pretty yeah. cool. So this is a, a, a hand and body cream. It's a one ounce jar and it's unscented. They call it Nearly Naked. Nearly Naked, that's, that's a fun title. I use this on my hands all winter because they get so dry. I mean, I'm right. washing them all the time in the mill and everything. And this is like just great to put on before bed. Helps you with uh, getting your knitting going and not having cracked fingers. So Excellent. this is great. I gotta smell this. Yeah, it's yeah, pretty, it's pretty unscented. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so this is great. I love their patchouli scented one too, but Ooh. we went with unscented. We went with unscented. Okay. And then, of course. Of course, there's yarn in the Of course, the socks. there's yarn. Limited edition yarn. So I'm going to show you first our, the, the neutral colors. This was, we, we were talking about how we made this. This is the Settlement Farm, which it starts out white, but we added 3% of black merino to get this really light, light gray. It's just gorgeous it's just subtly it cools the tone because yeah, on its yeah. own it is a pretty like creamy white and right. you add that black to it and it just is like yeah. nice and like heathery gray it's it's, it's so, it's so yummy and it's a great background for um our unique look at this exclusive, uh, exclusive to the holiday box right and i love it, it we're, it's called silent night mm -hmm. and it's got kind of purples and rose it's just a it's a yeah, lovely, like and a look at it with the gray. Plum. Yeah. How yum is that? And of course, you could knit whatever you want, but, but we're making a suggestion. We're going to include a pattern. Yep, we'll send you uh, in the box a full color shoulder season pattern. Hey, nice model. Yeah, she does a great job. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is one of our first uh, original patterns we put out last, I think it was last year, year before. I can't I even remember yeah. now. But anyways, we're gonna include a full color, color pattern. This is a great uh, thing to wear in the winter. Right, we thought it would piece. be a great thing to have after Christmas when it's still getting colder and colder. Yeah. Just add that under under your jacket. Our friend Ann Thompson designed it for yeah. us. So uh, that's just a suggestion. Of course, you can make many a thing yeah. with three skeins of yarn um, or just add them to your stash. So anyways. Yeah. But again, um, we only uh, did 40 because we don't know kind of what the response is going to be. And folks learned on Monday and you're seeing this on Tuesday. So folks learned through the newsletter. So right. we, we did give you a fair notice to sign up for the newsletter last week. So if you didn't hear about it, make sure you sign up so that you get uh, first dibs on all of the limited edition stuff that we do right. in the future. This is fun. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I kind of want one, but I can't. They're so limited. They're, yeah. I know, I want to right. put one. I'll tell you, it's already starting to put me in that, that holiday me too. spirit. Okay, I do have to make a, a slight aside to say that Cody does not love Christmas. Like, okay. he's not the biggest Christmas fan. But yesterday, I was feeling so wiped out from doing my sheep chores in the morning. Yeah, yeah. And I just wanted... He, he basically, he, he made a pumpkin pie, first of all. Whoa, and, and, and he stew. makes them from scratch. I yes, know that. from from the pumpkin. So first of all, he made pumpkin pie and stew. So the house smelled oh, amazing. Wow, wow. Second of all, he put on a Christmas playlist for me. Get out! Yeah, because I was, I was just like, really, I think because I was working on this project, I was really getting in the wow. mood for it. So, and he, he, on his own volition, put press play on Christmas music, which he detests. He doesn't <laughs> want it. He wow. says after Thanksgiving is the absolute first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love it. But so. you, wow, it that's nice. Really, it was a really nice treat. So wow, I know he doesn't watch the Millcast as we previously discussed, but uh. that's all right. That's that was very thoughtful. <laughs> I know. Wow. Yeah. Um, other news? Uh, yes, we also have some kits on our site for oh, the wait. Ravens Roost Revisited shawl by mm -hmm. Cassidy Seidler, aka the Ramp Rampant Hag Designs. Mm -hmm. Uh, she was on the podcast, I don't know, a month or so ago, and mm -hmm. I promised we'd get those kits out right away, but they're one out. festival or another yeah. festival, and, yeah. and they are finally available. So that is... Check I, that out. It's still... Uh, the Knit Along, I believe, is still going on. She's running it through her Instagram. Right. Um, check out the episode if you won ones ago, but we've got two kits for two different colorways, so... Two kits or four kits? Two kits. Two kits, okay. With four skeins Ah, each. that's it. All right. Yeah. Okay. And in the mill, meanwhile, uh, we're still a mill, and we're still <laughs> processing wool, and there's two custom processing orders 
we just wanted to share with you this one stunning deep it, it almost looks black but it's really a deep chocolate brown oh and these guys have all been so patient because we had to sort of slot in a lot before all the yeah. festival season so it's it's been a little bit of catch up on custom processing right. which has actually been so fun because every day there's something new on the spinner right. very different fiber types too. yeah and this is a merino that feels like a million bucks it's a, it's yep. a um, little worsted Pushing up towards Aaron, it is lovely. Yep. It's two ply and it is just like chunky. You can see yeah. it from here. This is a four ounce skein. Yeah. So it, boom. it is fluffy. And uh, it's from. The merino a, has that deep crimp in it, or not, not deep, just. That's what it's known <laughs> for. It's, yeah. it's fineness, it's really crimpy. So it is going to make a nice, yeah. lofty sweater yeah. or something. But this is from a farm called Two Dogs Merino. I will link their website in the show notes. Great. And then yeah, and the other on the one, we're, other side. We were really honored to, to be able to do this work. This is Tunis, and it's part of something called the Tunis Project. And um, this is a group from the Green Mountain uh, Knitting Guild took on this project, and they are going to be knitting a variety of things out of the yarn that we've spun for them out of Tunis. Yep. And it'll be at the Vermont Sheep and Wolf. Their, their work will be at the Vermont Sheep and Wolf Festival, yeah. which will be next fall, end of September, beginning of October. Yep. So, so um, if you haven't been to the Vermont Sheep and Wool Festival, put that on your, but, your uh, list. But just to show but the this. contrast here, so yep. this one is. Oh, uh, that's a great point. Yeah, this is just you know this is a really bulky, fluffy fleece here with the merino, and then Tunis very different fleece, but also spun very differently because right. we're able to spin a variety of yarns um, on our spinner. So right. this is spun much much lighter weight, mm -hmm. so it's a much finer strand. Obviously, the color is very different, but they're both gorgeous yarn with you know very right. little vegetable matter in them. So. Yeah. A plus job to both, the farmers. Both four ounce skeins. And both breed specific. They're yeah. different breeds. So yeah, Tunis so cool. Fleece Project, check it out. We will link that as well. Yeah, oh, so that's so what's going on in the mill. And um, yeah, then. The, I'm, uh, I'm out on Wednesday. That's I'm, right. I'm flying home to do Christmas early with everybody in Which the Midwest. Which is great. Or, you know, Thanksgiving. I don't even know if they know that. We're just coming and we're not coming later. So. That's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and meanwhile. And meanwhile, this Friday is our uh, November open house. We skipped October, so it's we been did. a we while. Were, it, was all, it was all fiber festivals. So yeah. it, has, it has been a while. So if you're at all in, in, in the neighborhood, come on over this Friday, 3 to 5. Um, Todd has offered to help me out. Great. Uh, Thank Leah you, will Todd. be here for a little bit of it. So. Um, yeah, come to the open house. And we still have Vermont Vice tote bags. Oh, yes, we do. Uh, we, we went through a lot of them at the um, Fiber Festival in New England, but we still have some for, and they'll be at yeah. the open house. So same deal? Yeah, three three skeins get you the free bag. Yeah, and they're fun. I've been using mine, and yeah. it's just it's a spot of brightness in this yeah. kind of uh, dreary stick yeah, season. Yeah, they're, they're very to. fun. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll see you Friday. All right, bye. Bye. bye.